Hello. We have a game with the old Chaos Dwarfs, and it looks like it is against Dark Elves. So that's an interesting... Interesting matchup. Oh, I think I played... Did I play this in play recently? Maybe with a different team? They're 9-2-2, we're 8-3-3, three, three, I think, so... Not too dissimilar. Um, this team is pretty much exactly how I'd build it, except I never roll a mighty blow. But yeah, everything else. Oh, missing the lineman, which is good for us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hooray, they don't have money to spend on extras. That's, that's kind of a relief. <clears throat> uh, but if you're watching the, uh, whew, sorry. If you're watching this back on YouTube, um, it's been, uh, probably three or four days since I played, which isn't really that long, uh, but it feels like that long. Kind of took the weekend off playing and... In fairness, well, I, I suppose I did play my league match a night or two ago, uh, like on Monday. Mm. But since I played the Chaos Dwarfs, it's probably been four or five days, so... Feels like a long time. But, uh, yeah, we'll get back into it. And, you know, at least I know Dark Elves, so... I know what we're up against. Whether I can stop it is another matter. What's going on defense? Yeah, there's nothing really going on here. He has the fame. Got it by one, so that's a, a bonus for him. But yeah, I like the setup of the team. Like I said, I would I would set it up pretty much exactly the same as this. Uh, no, not you. You. Started a Chaos Dwarf on the bench? That's not cool. Uh, let's see. We just have the two Mighty Blows for now. I'd like to try and hit this Blitzer with one of them. So... We'll just try and hit these guys on the front line with front liners. Uh, one of them we should make a, a Mighty Blow. I guess we can pop this guy here. He does have a witch, so we have to be respectful of that. Uh, let's see. No, I c yeah, yeah, I think we'll go with that. We'll go with this, I think. Earthshake is one of the centaurs, so this is bad. Okay, just a stun. Where did that ball go? Okay, that is not a great place for us. So we're going to pull both the hobgoblins back here. Because this could be a problem. And I don't want to get caught with too many guys out of the uh, picture. Nice. I'll move on that. Disappointing, but not the worst. Uh, we'll stay. Uh, 
Okay, that's a little better. Well, now that that's happened, we're kind of blitzing with the centaur here. Okay, that's about as much protection as we're getting. Now it's just, did we lose the game on this, or... Okay, we picked up the ball. Nice. Whew. Obviously we're still hugely separated from our team, but... Uh, yeah. Could have been a worse first turn, but, you know... A bit sad, nonetheless. Might hope for, a, a, you know, like some kind of removal or something, but... Not that they're guaranteed, but... This would be nice. Okay, just clearing the space. Not worried about tackle. I'm surprised he didn't do that one first, seeing as he didn't have to roll for it. Nice. Is he going to use a reroll this early? Probably not. Depends how aggressive he wants to. He wants to be aggressive here, but... Yeah. So that does let us kind of re reassemble. That was actually a pretty tricky decision there. Uh, right. So next, I think we try and hit this guy and make a cage back here. In an ideal world? Well, rubbish. <laughs> uh, so that being the case... Uh, we're just not... we're not knocking people over yet, but... We'll just uh, plug away until we do. So, how are we going to attempt this? I think we're going to come over here. Hmm, I'm not sure I can actually screen him here. So I think we're just going to do the not what I want to do of doing this. Yeah, yeah, not knocking this guy was a big deal. But hey, that's where we're at. Is this going to be one of those games where we get outbashed? That's always that's always the worry. Are they going to try and cage dive this? I wonder. Doesn't. Okay, they're probably just going to try and hit this guy, and then come in there. It's 
got enough people to do it. And then he's got the guy to retrieve as well. I don't know if he's going to throw some one dices at this. But he does kind of probably want to cancel this assist. Well, hang on. This guy's in between two guard. So, yeah, you can't cancel this assist. The only thing you could do is get two assists on this. So I think you might one die this, and then try and dive in with this guy, hit it, and then use this guy to pick up the ball. <clears throat> that's my that's my theory. Okay. No, he's going for a double assist on this, and then a... Why not just go... Okay, because he wants to... He needs to hit this guy here, that's why. It's a silly question. That's weird that it's not showing up the dodge there. Gets him down. So now he has the one dice in. Retrieval's not amazing, but he could potentially retrieve with this guy. Our Chaos Dwarfs are mostly tied up, so tackling these guys down if he gets this free is a problem. The other thing I thought about doing was leaving him in between that and just screening this guy behind here, but this guy was still, you know, too too active for that, really. So I guess Retrieval is either going to be this guy, straight up pair, over here, and then bring this guy in, I guess. Armor break incoming. No armor break, that's nice. Uh, it is in two tackle zones, so that's rough. About to possibly be three. <clears throat> Probably reroll this one for the pressure. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Stand corrected. Okay, that's a good first hit. Let's see if we get this guy down with this guy. Technically, yes. Okay, so we just got this guy in there. I don't know where I get the ball safe, though, is the problem. We're not knocking him down. It's the problem. Nothing. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, I can't make this safe at this point. is terrible. <laughs> there is no safe and I 
I still can't knock him down. Uh, we'll just knock him backwards. Yeah, we're not we're not quite getting what we need here, so not liking the situation at all. This is a two plus dodge as well. I don't like that. So he's got the two plus here. I mean the, you know, that'll do. KO is not great. Oh, don't go that way. Oh, okay. Well, first half is going his way, so we need to try and push it back so that we can maybe take the second half. We needed to do a little bit more with our armor rolls and have a little bit less done to us with our armor rolls. Uh, obviously the kickoff like crazy deep was was our first problem, but um, even so. As Chaos Dwarfs, you kind of need to be hurting Dark Elves. Like, when I lose to, uh, to Chaos Dwarfs as Dark Elves, it's because um, they are killing my team before I can enact this stuff. It's going to go right here. Oh, no. Possibly worse. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's cancel some assists. He's got sidesteps, so that is a problem. Let's follow that. Okay, a stun is something at least. Everything's kind of in our way at the moment. Um, don't want to one dice this, but it's hard to get one, two, three. Four, five, and then six. Okay, that's horrible, but I suppose technically doable. I think it's what we've got to go for. Or do I do five and then one, two, three, four, five? No, I think I do this first. Bad start. Just try not to roll ones. Nope. Ay ay ay. <laughs> Sometimes that's too hard. Yeah, it's, it's been rough, but we'll hang in there and hope, hope for the best. Oh, we got stunned last turn. I mean, that's that's something. But obviously, the, the, the core of his good players are down here, and we don't have a lot down here to deal with them. So that's that's kind of what we're looking at. might just go in there. Yep. Okay, I'll take that. Alright, we need a better kickoff this time. Better kickoff. The bull stun plus sideline 
kick was pretty brutal. We do have a kicker back, so that's nice. And then the absolute lack of, you know, demolition on the front. I'm not saying we're expecting to kill this whole team or anything, but, uh, you know, we, we didn't even really knock many people over, so he was really able to position on us pretty hard. First turn. Very hard to get into a, a sort of safe-ish position. But, you know, I mean, arguably we, you know, there's stuff I could have done better with how I set up. Do you have a kicker? No, it just was a just was a, a nice kick. Oh, extra reroll as well. And a very deep kick. Whew. Okay, well that is out of his range at least, so we'll just go for hits. Maybe we can get a little something going here. Not yet, at least. Maybe we can get one of his blodges out. That would be pretty tasty. No. Fair enough. This is this is uh, ominous. Hey, Mary, how's it going? Yeah, this is uh, this is not how this is not how my elf games go. What's going on? Um. Yeah, this is certainly problematic. Spinning Orc's been a rough season. I can't say that this is gen has been a rough season, especially for being first time we've played these guys, but we've had a few a few games where I guess you always do, where it doesn't feel like you're getting the uh you know what, I'm just gonna hang on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He'd have to roll some serious dice. I'm just gonna bring this guy in. I should get back to playing Orcs one of these days. I imagine he might... No, it looks like he's just going to blitz the guy in the front there. Not sure. How's, how's the record going? I mean, the funny thing is half of it is what you spin into, right? I mean, half, you know, half of it is how you play, half of it is if you just come up against teams. Well, okay, I can't really say that. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Yeah, I can't, I can't really say that it's half and half. But there's like a percentage that is what you run into, there's a percentage that's how well you play, and there's a percentage that is dice. And I guess all of those factors together. Did he blitz? Where's he blitzing? He's not blitz. I don't think he's blitzing. Oh, he blitzed with this guy. I guess he bl he did blitz here. Okay. Uh, two disconnects. Oh, that is unfortunate. We can get back up to our team here. Well, it disconnected me mid game twice, almost to be three 0 Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. Almost worse than that is where it just eats your game. Have you had any of those? Like a season or two ago, that was happening and... Not... not great. Uh, let's just come right up into the middle.
It's only got 11 players, but I just can't seem to deal with them right now. I think we will mark these guys. Yeah, let's let's push on him a little bit. Are you a guard? You are. Nice. Yeah, it's just it's just the worst. Okay, you guys have got to die. Don't mean to sound aggressive, but if you could, that would be very, very, very handy. Not really got anybody to foul. Uh, let's just pop him in the middle to help out there. Theoretically, he could get in here with some hits, but I don't see it. Especially with as much guard as we've got lined up here. Hey, Castile, how's it going? We've been on the on the end of a, an elf thing here, although, arguably, that's not that's not fair. I don't know. My my bias perspective is that these dark elves are invincible, and that's a problem. Normally, when I have blodges, they get powered every time, and they and they just get injured. We have been powering, but we've not done anything more than a stun, so it's a bit a bit rough. But uh, I'm I'm hopeful that that will change. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like it mostly eats your good results as well. I'm guessing, for, I, you know, in fairness, uh, it's, I guess it's, it's not, but that's, that's how I felt. I felt like it's mostly got rid of my good games. You're going over... No, you're going over there. Gave him his reroll back as well. That was annoying. Uh, why? Oh, okay, he's back here. Is he just going to come back around? Okay, no, he is going over there. Yeah, that's probably a good decision because that's where I was going. Oh, we can still kind of do it. One dice here. Okay. One dice with sidestep is kind of annoying. Hmm, this is this is going to be quite tricky now. Yeah, this is going to be very tricky. Spun into Kislev, you're off. Yeah, thank you. You too. That could be, uh, that could be an interesting one. Uh, I think to some degree we I ignore this guy. And we just push up into this space. I don't think we're going to score, but that uh, doesn't mean we can't try. Let's get right up in the business. Is it a good idea? Arguably not. I think we're just, I think we're honestly just going to ignore this guy. And just try and dodge in here.
He's two squares away. Let's pop him here. If he wants to surf this, then he can surf it. We had two rerolls, so we'll make this a relatively regular. We failed it, but it's gone in a okayish position. Three plus dodge of reroll, I figured, uh, is probably about as good chances as trying to blitz this guy off. We'd have had to put so much, commit so much back to sort this out that it would have been very hard to actually score. Now we do have two scoring threats. Whether they will still be scoring threats when this happens, I don't know, but... You know, he's potentially focusing more on the ball here. Which could work to our advantage. Sometimes weirdly having a... Uh, Having it be slightly attainable means that your opponent positions in a way that is worse than if you had made it uh, impossible to get. Because then if we get it impossible, if we get it in a very tight cage, he just does like an impossible to get through screen. Uh, not impossible, but you know, very hard to get through screen. If we do this, he kind of thinks to himself, well, I've got a chance of getting the ball out here. So maybe I make a play on that. But we'll see. we'll see how he approaches it. You know, obviously we've tempted him here with the bull, which I don't think he's going to take the bait of, but it's it's there. I like just pushes. Okay, he's going for the one dice. Well, it worked. She should really come back. I think. Probably push him this way. Because he wants to get this guy through, I think. I think this might be the person that we lost to because of a misclick. Rerolling, okay. I wouldn't have minded the reroll plus injury there, but you know. You can't always choose. Okay, so let's think about this. We need to clear this guy somehow, and this guy. We push this guy to here. Could potentially blitz him. Okay, let's try that and see what it looks like. Honestly, we might just be best off blitzing out here. Uh, let's 
see. I think it makes more sense to pick up with this guy. Because he's got further that he can move on that. Okay, that's good. I don't know why I'm rolling these one at a time. Okay, that is nice. This guy just comes back here in case this goes wrong. Oops, I should have gone here. Come on. Oh, not off the field. <laughs> well, that's awfully easy, isn't it? So how did we do there? Yeah, we were never... That pass was not going to roll well even if we'd got closer and then the catch was bad as well so yeah. well i we gave ourselves a shot and you know i think trying to get even was the way to go here because otherwise you just blast it in at the beginning of the next half and we're back in you know we're a two nil down anyway I mean, we might have been able to, we, we might have been better off, um, uh, it would have been two GFIs, I think I still would have made the pass from where I did. So I think giving ourselves a chance there, I'm, I'm okay with. Why is he making these blocks? Can he not, he can score, like that's, I don't understand when people do this. I mean, I do. It's 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 greed, right? You're you're trying to maximize um, your possibilities. It's just like so far he hasn't he hasn't uh, suffered any consequences for doing dodgy stuff. Because if he'd used the reroll, he he's not scoring here, right? So. Ah well, it is what it is. I think I think we had to make the play to stay in the match there, and it wasn't the craziest play. What was that like a four plus pass, four plus catch? I think maybe. Uh, obviously the scatter off the the pitch was off the crowd was pretty bad, but that's not a surprise because they. Uh, You know, they're going to be able to reach most parts of the field. Uh, we shouldn't be this aggressive. Okay. 
Okay, I think we'll just go with this. And hope for the best. I mean, I don't know what we're hoping for at this point. We're just we're just sort of trying, right? Like we still have a full team. He still has a full team. That's that's part of the problem. Um Yeah, I think it's just one of those times where to my mind, it feels like uh, maybe we've had the slightly rougher end of the of the important dice rolls, and you know, and you obviously you're punished with us with a team like this uh, if you can't hold on to the ball, and we haven't always been able to put it into uh, a cage successfully, or or not getting people that were in the cage. I think we we lost the, I think for the first touchdown. If we had knocked over the Mighty Blow guy who was in the front of the cage, uh, we we were okay. But we didn't, and that, that cost us. Now, normally you'd say, well, you shouldn't set up to the point where that could be a factor, but because the ball went so deep, we didn't have a lot to work with, so... I think the only other thing you could argue is maybe we should have brought the cent a Centaur back. Um, but even then, I don't know how far they were actually going to get. He's not even protected the ball here. Maybe he'll quad skull. Like the ball is is in reach of the centaur. It's even in reach of our sure hands guy. So let's hope he just keeps rolling dice here and forgets about the ball. Okay, he has remembered the ball exists. I mean, I know he's 2-0 up, but, you know, stuff like that can get you in trouble. <laughs> kind of makes me want to play Dark Elves again. Alright, uh, well he's left this guy right over here. So I think we've got to hit that, right? Uh, we should do the basics first. Hey, you're knocked down. Nice. Oh, better than knocked down. Drop this guy back. And you know what? Let's play this slightly more sensibly, otherwise he's just gonna come right past. I just want to charge through and pressure, but the thing is, if we do that, he just brings the ball up here, hands it off to this, blitzes this guy, hands it off to this guy, and he's down in the corner and 3-0. So, we can't play it as impatiently as we'd like. We 
presume he's dodging back out here. Because he did blitz. He's thinking about it. Okay, okay. Is he handing off to the witch? Hang on, we'll see, okay. I mean, this is the kind of thing where things can go wrong and suddenly we pick up the ball and this guy goes in and scores and it's back to 2-1, right? And then he, then he probably plays a lot more of a sensible game, in fairness, but even so. Not saying you shouldn't do this, just saying it is our way back in, theoretically. Be nice if he used up. Did he get another reroll again? We both did. Okay, fair enough. He'll use it here because we do have players in the backfield. But maybe that means this dodge fails or something like that. Interesting. I think you move this guy first, probably. Because he's going to get hit, whereas this guy's not, so... Probably should look around the field about what I'm doing first. I did make the hit before I got that guy up on purpose, because this guy can move into contact. So that wasn't entirely just the... Uh, you know, doing things before you've thought it through. Okay, I think we... Come and hit this guy. Very nice. Probably just back up to the witch elf here, or back in... No, probably here. No, he's going to stay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll follow that. Uh, so I think this centaur stays back. Yeah, I'm fine with him there, to be honest. Get the old uh, dirty player going here. Instant send off. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, that wasn't a super high percentage, but it was dirty player plus one, so it was eight plus. I'm telling you, I just can't fail. I need to go back to a team that doesn't try and foul all the time. Move that back a little bit. There we go. 
All right. So yeah, he's just gonna doodle around a bit in the back here, I think. Oh, we haven't got any... So the, the downside is even if we somehow got the ball back and scored on him, he's probably going to have his full team back. It's not to say I'm not going to try, but obviously it gets harder and harder as you go. Oh, oh, could be a double one. Oh, it's on tackle, so you'd have to re-roll it. Doesn't. Or did he re-roll something else? No, he didn't. Okay. Doing that first. Clear this guy. Follow. No, that doesn't help. Could do that. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling it. Nope. Uh... Sure. We got four rerolls. What are we? Uh, what are we saving them for? Don't need to do that. Looking for a pair here. Nope. Good argument for getting tackle. I uh, will stay there. What's that, 58? If we get him without getting sent off, then I can reposition the... No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, that being the case... I think the bulk does come back here. Just because he really covers the back side of the field. So we're making him roll a lot of dice. I mean, that's that's all we can hope for. Oh, there, there are the pairs I needed. I think that was a 4 plus dodge with, uh... Man, if we, if, if those pairs had come a turn earlier, double pairs with the armor break, then suddenly maybe we're causing him some fear. We've made him think here. I don't mind a bit of that. Not sure what he's planning. Okay, he's just going to try and, like, do a little mini cage here. How does he close off the front? I wonder. I suppose like that. Just probably going to try and dodge here. 
we frightened her with the uh, bull now. All right, so let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't work. Uh, let's see. Could do that, could go for the four plus N. I don't think I'll be expecting that. Get out of the way. Oh, I hadn't thought through the fact that we're going to have to dodge out of here as well. So be it. Uh, nope. Uh, we did use break tackle there, so this one's on a 50. Seventy-five percent chance there. That's a pity, I was kind of hoping to knock him over so I could come in here. It's nice when they work pretty well. It it really does make me miss uh, playing Dark Elves. When you can dodge, when you can dodge, Dark Elves are amazing. I think it's failed a few, in fairness, but mostly not at key times. And I suppose at this point, nothing is key times, right? Because even if even if we manage to find a way to score here, um, where was I going? Oh, we're you know we're not likely to score twice, right? I mean, he's even doing passes, right? That's that's what's crazy here. He's not even worried. Which, you know, I get. But at the same time, like, there'll be games where that does theoretically hurt you. <laughs> uh, maybe we just take a few hits now. I mean, this is a scoring threat anyway, so... Oh, can't, can't break that armor.
Let's hit the switch. Works for me. It doesn't work for me. Hey! Made him use his Apo, maybe. Nope. Probably not. Nice! We've put them at a slight disadvantage for next game, I'll take it. Hopefully he passes- uh, passes one of these. Fails one of these. I'll be honest, I don't often play my Dark Elves as fast and loose as this, even when I'm, like, when you're 2-0 ahead. Uh, because it can go wrong. Uh, one, one day I'll show you an example of that, but it, it will not be today by the looks of it. I guess the thing is, the greed doesn't often get punished, right? Because the chances are it's not going to get punished. So, it's, it's the fact that sometimes it does that's really kind of the big thing. Dropping a reroll on that one. Oh, he's worried about me doing a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. Alrighty, so let's hit this guy. Nope. <laughs> Let's hit this guy. Sure. Let's just foul whatever we can. Let's be Chaos Dwarfy about this. Make him hurt for stalling. Or not. Uh, let's see. Well. I mean at this point, you, you know, why not do this? Hey, failed one. That's ah, okay. It's farming some good SPP here, and there's not a lot we can really do about it. Yeah, he wants this guy to go in last turn. Yeah. I suppose we could Blitz in here. I'm not sure why. <laughs> hey! So yeah, we could put somebody in here. 
Come in here. Yeah, sure. Come on, you can do it. I think that was a four or five plus. Not sure. Ooh. So what do we actually do? We injured one. We injured one. Wow. Not even permanent. Did KO a couple. That's, that's the potential danger. Did a couple of blocks at the, at the beginning of the first half that just lost the game as well. Kept getting the push option, rarely any good hits. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, that's somewhat the uh, story of our game here. If I'm being honest. It's all good though. Sometimes, sometimes it goes that way, and, uh, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's not a lot you can do about it, and you just have to <laughs> hope the next match does you better. Okay, where are we at with people who could potentially level? Do we have any Chaos Dwarfs that would potentially level? Not with a... Throw. I guess arguably you should make a block because it's more useful for you to get the level than this guy. I don't really care about leveling that guy. Wouldn't mind leveling this guy, so he'll probably throw. Yeah, I, uh, Commiserations Castile, it is, it is the way it goes. Extra re-rolls, I think he's had three re-rolls over the course of the game, maybe? I might be imagining that in fairness. Uh, let's see, so you're two points away from leveling, so you should take first hit. Just in case. Because that would be a little bright side. No, okay, uh, who's next most? I mean, you're not far away from leveling, so you should take next hit. Nope. Uh... I guess you're the next one I'd like to level. Two. Nothing. Just because you want to get that. Yeah, it is, there's really nothing you can do, right? It's just... It's just sad. And then I guess we pop the foul in on this guy. We should make it stylish and make it a centaur foul, right? Do the full run up. I guess we didn't get sent. Did we? Get, uh, we could have got sent off. Uh, and there we go. Absolutely no damage to him. <laughs> yeah, it is rough. Oh, that's kind of how, like, at least beginning of the game, I feel like the first half of the game was us not getting any uh, joy out of our blocks and them just swarming us. And then, um, and you know, maybe this isn't entirely fair. And then the second half of the game was just us completely failing to do any damage at all. Hey, look at that. That's nice. So, yeah, we did get twice as many armor breaks, technically. Uh, but... 
Yeah, you'd have thought with the armor difference that that might have been different. Arguably. But, you know. It, it is some, some, sometimes the way it goes. I mean, he uh, he obviously got a lot of SPP because he did a ton of passing and touchdowns. Uh, he didn't injure us either, so I suppose there's that. But yeah, it just... Uh, yeah, his dodges were on point. Didn't really roll like a ton of GFIs. But I think just just the ability to dodge the entire game with, with not many issues. Six passes, 100%. Pretty good. Pickups aren't great, but some of those might have been in, in uh, tackle zones, I don't remember. Catch is pretty good, probably considering some of those were in tackle zones as well. So, yeah, I mean, you know, some of that's good. I mean, we can maybe look at us and we'd see similar. 100% uh, injuries, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that means we, di we didn't ever get injured. Maybe. I'm never sure what that means. Um, yeah, our pickups were good as well, right? Dodging wasn't so good, but we did attempt some silly ones, so... And our GFIs were great, so... Yeah. Make of it what you will. Uh, I guess we can level up a Chaos Dwarf, though. Which is always nice. It's kind of what we got out of the game, is <laughs> sadly. Still refusing to roll doubles, these guys. Um... Do we get more Mighty Blow? I think we just get all Mighty Blow until we... And then once we get... So we go Guard, Mighty Blow, and then if anybody reaches the next stage without getting um, Claw, we get Stand Firm. I mean, that's that's the solid skills. Uh, that'll put us in pretty good stead. What would be sweet is if this guy rolled the double, because then we could go straight to claw and then to mighty blow so that would be really nice i might even mighty blow this guy first just in case because we obviously would just give him guard otherwise but that puts in good stead Alrighty, um i'm gonna finish off the video for youtube thanks for watching youtube and i will catch you next time and hopefully we'll have a bit more of an upbeat match but we'll see bye for now